This is StormTrack 12. Well, good Monday afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Happy first day of fall as well. We've brought the clouds back into the picture and our stretch of really dry weather pretty much over with now. You can see the overcast skies looking down from the tower cam. It's still in the 70s, 73 degrees, and those southwest winds have been on and off breezy at times now that we have this frontal boundary quickly approaching. The center of that low pressure center and this storm system is basically situated over the northern Great Lakes. You can see the rainfall wrapped around the center of that right there, but you can see the clouds extending all the way down into the Ohio River Valley and some showers are now again pushing their way into the twin tiers. This is just the first round of rainfall we'll have today. We'll have another later on, but again, there is that first batch of rain moving off to the north and east and we're seeing some of that shower activity out there now and we'll see more development later on today back where this clearing is situated closer to the center of the low. Yeah, that's where we're going to see more showers and thunderstorms later on today. But again, there's that first batch of rainfall. We zoom in even closer. Still Tioga, Cortland counties have been seeing that rain for the last half hour or so. And now some of these showers pushing into northern Broome County and also Shenango County. And again, this will be sticking with us for the next couple of hours before we catch a little bit of dry time into the middle of the afternoon. There's those temperatures warmer where there hasn't been any clouds or rainfall just yet. Closer to the upper 70s along the Interstate 88 corridor. We can see a little bit of clear back to where those clouds are. And again, we will all cool down to the lower 70s once those clouds and rain build their way in. And winds have also been, again, picking up as we've gone throughout the day here with that frontal boundary approaching. And we can expect these to be anywhere from 10 to 15 miles an hour continuing for the rest of the day. So that first round of showers, it's already here. It'll be around for the next two to three hours or so. And then later on into the late afternoon, early evening, even the early overnight hours. That's when that second round will arrive with a few storms built in as well. And those could be gusty at times as we get towards the end of your Monday here. Then behind this cold front, we will cool things down pretty quickly, remaining a little bit breezy for your Tuesday as well there. But dry weather, it is going to return for us at least for a brief time on Wednesday. Let's check out future track. Then the rest of the day here again, we're having some dry time through the afternoon, but there's that next line of showers and storms going to be building its way in as we head towards the dinner hour and beyond. And those showers will linger as we go into the early part of your Monday night, but then things will quiet down once again. But with the center of that low being rather close to the twin tiers, we could see some wraparound showers within that cool northwest flow as we go throughout your Tuesday morning, even into the early afternoon tomorrow. So we won't quite be done with the rainfall as we get into the second day of your work week, but then we'll finally start to dry things out as we head into your Wednesday morning. Temperature wise, again, we're into the upper 70s in some locations now, but check this out as that front pushes its way through later on today. We will cool off pretty nicely down into the 60s by about 10 o'clock, 50s by the time we get towards sunrise on your Tuesday, and these temperatures aren't going to rebound much at all as we go through the day on Tuesday, maybe getting into the lower and middle 60s if we're lucky there, and then cooling off pretty nicely then as we get into your Wednesday morning. So there's the rest of your afternoon. Those showers and storms will be around as we get further into the day. But again, those temperatures already in the 70s. We're reaching our high temperatures in many locations already. There's the rainfall wrapping up, cooling down as well on Tuesday. And then we have another shot at rain moving into the picture on Thursday. Damon, thanks so much for the updates and thank you for joining us at noon. Around the Tears is next.